you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and today we got Market Talk. Now, P. Willis did come out. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, I did post yesterday around like 4 p.m. Eastern. P. Willis, P. Willis effect is in full effect. So, like I told you guys, pretty much whatever position drops, which we do not know firsthand what position will drop, but whatever one drops, it will kill the positional value of that position on the market. It will, in total, bring down the market slightly, but it will kill the position. So, like when Bo Jackson dropped, Marcus Allen went down like 100K. A few other running backs that were at least deemed some of the better ones went down a lot. And the market as a whole went down quite a bit. Now, for this one, the middle linebackers definitely went down. So I kind of regret not selling mine beforehand, which I probably should have. I just sold them for a lot less than you went for. But I kind of needed the coins. But I have a little tip for you guys at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that as far as Patrick Willis goes. But let me go through this. You guys know how I already like to run this through the auction block. You guys already know the drill with this. But a quick little intro before we do get into the video, guys. We are at about 7.3K subscribers. So let's keep grinding this out. Go down below. Smash the sub button. Let's grind out to 8k within the next week or so and then out to 9 and then 10 you know keep building this channel as much as we can going into this whole year and if you guys haven't already smashed the like button it is the market talk so let's get this video to 250 likes that'd be greatly appreciated like i always say the best way to support the channel and the best way to show any kind of support at all drop a like on the video the more i know you guys like specific type of videos and content and stuff the more i'll probably do them and comment down below what you guys think of this patrick willis and if you are going to be selling this play i'm going to be showing you guys in a second if you haven't already turned on the noni bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Now let's get into this video, boys. So, real quick before I get into it, actually, weekly fantasy pack. Everyone's been asking me about these. I mean, do I recommend them? If you don't mind spending five dollars, yeah, because you could theoretically get a platinum card that goes for like 300k, 200k, 50k, 80k, which is definitely a bargain for five dollars. I just never open them just because I get I have this fear that I'll get an 80, but I just kind of just forget. So that's kind of it on the weekly leads. They are really good. I would recommend them if you did for your money spec guy, anyways. But if you're no money spent, I mean, you don't have to really break that for that. Now going over to the 80 to 81s, the first cards on the thing. Let's see, we got Lamar Miller at an 80 overall. So they are trending down as a whole, if you guys haven't realized already, because 80s were like 13K prior, and 81s were about, I believe, 14, 15K. So let's see where they're at right now. 81s are at, they are probably around here. There's just so many of them, they're not being filtered in. 81s say they're 14K. I'd imagine they're a little cheaper, but again, the 80 81s aren't really that relevant. The only good thing about the 80s is that if you want them, they have went down, but not too great for training unless they go down a little bit more. 81s are pretty good for training if they go if they're down to like 12k, which they were yesterday. I think they're just not being filtered properly. Now coming on over to the 82 to 83 overall cards, we got 82 overalls are a pretty good bargain at 18k, especially if you want to use them, such as like Devonta Freeman, David Johnson, Mark Allen, Ken Houston. These are pretty good values. James Washington, yeah, he's pretty fast at a feeling. And the 83s are, let's see, let's see. 83s are 25, 24, 25. Oh, I thought it said 24, my bad. 24, 24, 24. So the 83s are down, like I said. 80, 18, my bad. 82s for 18K and 23s for 24K are not bad at all. Like, these are cards you could literally use and or use for training. I will be dropping a cheapest training video today, so stay on the lookout for that so you guys can keep updated on those values. I'll kind of be mentioning, I'll be referencing it in this video. But I'll be going over in depth with all the math and all the numbers and the coins for training in that video. Now heading into the 84 to 85s, we got John Sullivan as a 33k center right here starting off. So that is not bad. So again, these are cards you could really use for 34k. They are not overpriced. Now the 35s are an even better bargain if you go down to these. It always takes a while to get down to these because of the surplus of all the 84s here. But 85s go for let's see 46. Around 46 k that's a bargain for 85 overall. That is a really good price. There's guys like Deshaun Watson, which I was really excited for this card when it first all came out. Look at his stats. They're horrible. He can barely throw on the run, barely throw under pressure, has decent throw power and three decent throw accuracy. But like his middle and deep is horrible. His speed's not good. His play action's bad. This card's pretty horrendous. Let's see if he's any ball carry moves at least. Just real quick. He's got nothing. So yeah, this card was kind of a waste. I really wish it would have been a lot better, but as a whole, these 85s are kind of bargains. They're really good prices for some really good players here, especially these ultimate superstars, which I always highly recommend. They're very good um, bargains considering you get all their training and all their abilities for pretty much free that come with the card. Now, 86, 87s, we got Cameron Hayward coming in at 66K right here. So the 86s have not moved too much. They are down, 
but not from the last video. They're just kind of like stock right here. There's some decent 86s. I'm not really a fan of the majority of 86s. I haven't really bought any of these cards this year. I, I only ones I like are Trent Williams, Stefan Gilmore, Clowney, and probably Julio. Not really a fan of many, many of the other ones, to be honest with you guys. Except for the linemen, obviously, both skill positions and defensive. Haven't been a fan of too many of these cards here. Now, the 87s, let's see where they start. I believe they start. Do they start here? Okay. So, 87s start right around here, 87K. They are around their base price. Typically, they're between 80 and 90K is typically where they sit at, which isn't too bad. Now, let's go over to the next bracket. So, this is where things are a little more interesting, especially with this new drop of Patrick Willis. So, at 120, these are not really 120. You gotta filter them out. If you filter them out by flashbacks, 120, okay, of course it's gonna do it now, but typically like 110 to 120. They're never just at 120. Heavyweights are 120, of course, too. So, typically, if you want a good price for 88s or good training, you want to get these 88s for about 110 to 120. They're always up, trust me, especially on flashback and heavyweight days or legend Saturdays. So, if these cards are already like Anthony Munoz, at 120 when legend saturday kicks off in about 40 minutes when the legend packs drop i expect these cards to be like 105 110 ish 120 somewhere between those ranges so that would be a great time to get training now if you head on down bobby wagner was affected the patrick willis effect killed the linebacker market so as you can see bobby wagner i've seen him sold for as low as 115 today 120 today he's slowly working his way back up right now but he was sold for quite cheap pretty cheap this morning Bobby Wagner went down quite a ton guys and that's also because of this I'll show you right now because there's this Patrick Willis you can get just by powering him up so this kind of killed it because if you compare the stats he's a lot faster a lot better excel better strength similar tackling similar play rec better block shed similar like everything's similar the only difference is that he's so much more athletic he's taller you just you just can't you can't just justify keeping him look the jumping's better too like what matters for a linebacker Speed, hip power, jumping, excel, height. He's taller, he's faster, better excel, better height, and he could jump better. It just, that's all that really matters, and the hip power is close enough to where they're both within the tier, right? the, like the threshold anyway, so it doesn't really matter there, but that's a quick little tip for you guys if you wanted to. Go power up the Patrick Willis. It doesn't cost too much for training once you see my new video on how to get the cheapest training. It does not cost that much. You typically get it for cheaper than Wagner. You do get a better card, a better overall. If you chem it up, it's like a 90 overall. So I think that is the best, one of the best middle linebackers right now. I power, I, that's called, I bundle them up with Shazier and they're a nice middle linebacker duo. Now as a whole, he really only affected the middle linebacker market, although as a whole, the market has come down, but the ones that were hit hard were middle linebackers. So remember that as a quick tip for the next few weeks, whatever car comes out, that market will be affected. So like if they drop the wide receiver and it's Calvin Johnson Jr., expect Odell, Julio, Marvin Harrison, Odell, the other Odell, they have all those cars to go down. If they drop a center or a lineman, expect some linemen to come down. A defensive lineman, not side linebacker or cornerback. It's gonna be killing it overall as a whole. Now let's see where the 89s start. I believe they start right here, which is 165. Okay, hold up. Legends. Let's go see 118. Told you they come down a little bit. 89 start at 158. Okay, so this might be one of the this might be the best training value in the game right here. 158k. Marcus Allen. These are down a lot right now. And it doesn't help that Dalvin Cook just came out and people are saying he's just as good as Marcus Allen, which he is, but that definitely killed his price. And then Marvin Harrison, people are probably projecting. You know, with more wide receivers coming out, he's going to be passed soon. So that is not a bad value at all. If you wanted any 89 Legends, now would be the time, in my personal opinion. And if you want to sell some off Ken Houston, then you probably want to get rid of him soon. People are getting their Pat Tillmans, and people are going to be getting their better overall. They're going to be better safeties in the game soon, so they're not going to... The only reason he's kept his value is because there's not many good safeties in the game just yet. Now let's go to the 90 overalls and go see what they're, what they're working with right now. 90 overalls have... They go for 230. That is a really good training value right there. It's also very cheap right now. If you wanted Elway, Brooks, or Munoz, I'd recommend Elway or Munoz. That is really cheap for both of them. And same with Reggie White at 260. Jerry Rice at 260. Todd Gurley at 280. Wow. Bruce Matthews is actually up a little bit. He might actually be a sell soon. Mahomes is going for 306. I feel like I should sell Mahomes soon because there's got to be a quarterback that comes out soon that I want. I really want some like souped up Kyler Murray, some Michael Vick, a Randall Cunningham. I want something. But until then, I'm going to rock out with Mahomes. I just want to get rid of him before his value completely dies. Now, Willie Brown should be coming down soon. So when they drop the Mutt 10 cornerback, Willie Brown's price will come down quite a ton. So 
I'm pretty much not gonna buy any position that hasn't been affected by Mod 10 yet. Cause like I said, I had Wagner, Mod 10 drops, he goes down in value. I had Marcus Allen, Mod 10 drops, they all went down 100K. So I think I'd rather just wait until a cornerback drops and then if I don't like the cornerback, if the, well, it's, they're all limited times, so remember. Really, it doesn't affect Madden too much. Cause even if the corner comes out, Willie Brown will still be one of the best corners because he's practical. You can afford him. Not everyone's gonna have that limited time card, so you don't really have to compete with him too much. So you pretty much have to worry about that limited time card comes down. Let's say like Bo Jackson come out. Not everyone's gonna have Bo Jackson. Not many people will at all. He's too expensive. Bo Jackson comes out. You buy Mark Allen for half the price. You made out with a bargain and one of the best running backs in the game. So when that new cornerback comes out, it might be time to scoop Willie Brown. Or when that quarterback comes out, maybe it's time to scoop uh, Steve Young. Or when the outside linebacker comes out, you want to scoop Lawrence Taylor. That's just some quick advice. I highly recommend you wait per position. And whatever position comes out, that's when you buy those players. It's the best way to do it right now. It's the best way to save coins. And I would just highly recommend that, guys. But that is about it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to smack the thumbs up button. Let's get this video to 250 likes. And if you haven't already, hit the sub button. Let's keep grinding down to 8K. Turn the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. That's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.